In its defense to civil suit number 948 filed at the High Court's Land Division by Mera Investment Limited, also owned by Sudir Ruparelia, DFCU Bank through its lawyers, Sebalu and Lule Advocates, states that on the basis of the chief government valuer's valuation of each property and the total stamp duty paid was Uganda shillings 627 million, 37,500, based on a total valuation of 41 billion shillings, 802 million, 500,000 shillings. DFCU Bank maintains that he acted within the law empowering Bank of Uganda under section 95 subsection 10 clause B and clause C of the Financial Institutions Act 2004, having assumed the liabilities and assets of Crane Bank through its branch network. The 48 contested titles already transferred to DFCU Bank captured some 24 branches of Crane Bank that remained in operation under DFCU and the rest that have remained closed as well as undevolved pieces of land. Sued alongside DFCU Bank as defendants by Mera Investment Limited is the Commissioner for Land Registration being faulted for having allegedly connived to transfer the leases of the properties into DFCU's name without prior consent of Mera, arguing that it's null and void. Mera in its application wants court to declare the continued presence of DFCU Bank on its properties, amounting to trespass and that they should be ordered to vacate with immediate effect, and that court directs the Commissioner for Land Registration to cancel out DFCU Bank as being the rightful owners of the sued properties and reinstate them as the rightful owners. Sebalu and Lule advocates in their defense of DFCU filed in court is rejecting the particulars of alleged fraud on their part saying no consent was required for its transfer or taking of possessions of the 48 leasehold certificates of title for the reasons given and in any event none of the matters raised can be said to amount to fraud. DFCU's loan book realized a 55.5% growth to 1.3 trillion shillings, even with the target to collect at least 240 billion shillings from a value of 200 billion in loan accounts from Crane Bank clients by the time of the takeover. In their half-year results released on 15th August 2017, DFCU reported a 62% growth in customer deposits to 1.838 trillion shillings, in which it also delivered a sterling performance of profit before tax of 151 billion shillings, up from 30 billion shillings over the same period in 2016. Reina Ojon, NTV Business.